Oh! It's so good. This is ridiculous. It's like everything you do just becomes great. Auto magic. Welcome to the Excellent Studios. Uh, I'm Peter, this is August. We all know that Life is really good for capturing stuff on the go together with the Life Field Recorder app on your phone and then using those sounds that you captured to make beats with. But you might actually be missing out on the best parts of life. It could be a true studio powerhouse for creativity and sparking ideas from stuff you already have, reimagining sounds that you have around you or in your project already. Today we're gonna to show you other ways of getting audio into life and then go deep on like a performance level where it stops being a, like a loop player and more of an instrument where you can tweak all parameters and make it alive. I have this uh, idea for a track. Very airy. <laughs> Very airy. Very lush. Yeah. <laughs> With the help from you, Peter, yeah. and Life, we'll take it to the next level. And here I find Life so powerful because uh, it will take me places that I wouldn't go on my own. Obviously, it needs a hi-hat. But then I will just get into the same old high pattern. Then it's so nice to throw some stuff on life and see what you get. So you're sort of using it as a mental rearrange, like get out of your own wheelhouse a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So let's first go through how to set up the life door recorder in your DAW. I'll show you here. So I go into life then. Here's the door recorder. And that sits on your master now. That's on my master. Yeah. And this is on my channel. And then there's this little rec button. Woo! So. Let's record some hi-hats. The reason why you do this is that you get your unique sound and you can control it. I mean, I have this very nice Neumann stereo pair. I have a nice vintage Siljan hi-hat, which I might destroy a little bit, but we'll see. Uh, I mean, not physically, then uh, in the computer. So you're fine, baby. Okay. <laughs> And now shake. It's in the door recorder. Mm -mm -mm. Here we have it. Party people, done. So now I can trim the recording where I would like it to start and end. Oh yeah, so you, you essentially have like a 15 second loop that you can pick whatever from this recording, right? Yeah. Then let's call it hi-hat. So now look, life has sliced it up so nicely and automated a pattern. Oh, I've forgotten to push the sync button. So sync will sync the tempo and the transport from the DAW. Transport meaning play and stop. So let's listen to this. Are we doing Ricky? No, let's... <laughs> Needs to be faster, right? Yeah, so then you have this nice little double tempo or half tempo, but I think we should go double. There we go. Yeah, nice. Hi-hats in place. Cool. Let's add something more. What do you think about this, Peter? What's that? A kalimba. What does it sound like? <laughs> Sounds like I want to go to sleep. <laughs> but in a good way, it like a lullaby. It would track even more airy. Okay, cool. It's going to be great. Let's open our little door recorder. And here's a pro tip for when you're recording melodic or tonal stuff, that you actually de-click the pitched setting in Life, because otherwise Life is going to pitch your sounds to get more variety in them, but you might not want to do that when it's tonal. That's already kind of good, but let's see yeah. what we can get. Let's actually go do double time. Kind of like this. So. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. So now we've shown you how to capture with some really nice mics, but of course you want to be able to capture some lined instruments as well, maybe synths, maybe guitars, or whatever you want. But uh, we're going to capture this Casio Tone 405 into a chroma console uh, pedal that really messes stuff up. Mm -hmm. 
I was just playing that, but since the live DAW recorder is always on, uh, we all have it. So essentially just uh, hit done and we're good done. to go. As you can see here, life has sort of made kind of long edits because it's very constant sound. What you can do then is to go into the source file and actually do your own cuts. Because there's no transients. Right, you might want to go in and edit the slice points to your own liking. So yeah. we've done that here. Let's see what it gave us. Bring it on, Casio! <laughs> Instant vibe, <laughs> pretty much. Oh, but I'm used to that. I'm like, of course. <laughs> of course. Humble brag. I mean, not me, I meant life. <laughs> you built the thing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> So we've now used the DAW recorder to capture with microphones and we've used lined instruments. We said we wanted to show us something else. What was it? Drag and drop. Now we have like a nice sonic palette, but maybe we need some, ah, some like smooth sounds. And then the other day I found this nice loop. Bedroom vocals volume one. Irresistible. <laughs> oh, I love that. It would be a nice, flavor in our yeah. little dreamy world. We'll just uh, put it here and then we can just drag it on. Boom. Essentially you can do this with any file on your computer, a video file or audio file. If you just pull it onto it, the video file will then extract the audio file for you and chop it up. Let's see what that gives us. This is ridiculous. It's it's so good. You're doing halftime now? Yeah. It's so nice how it like sits in the background, but still like is really taking, a l sort of really filling out the space. This is like one of those can't miss samples. It's like everything you do just becomes great. Shut up. Yeah, this with a little like side chain on it. Auto magic. You could also play the slices on your MIDI keyboard. They're right. automatically mapped. And if you want to know what goes where, you could always look at the MIDI control. Here they are. The raw slices and then the processed slices. But before you go, you have to remember to turn off sync. So uh, you're actually performing on the keyboard, playing into your DAW, and the sequencer of life is not responding to the transport message from the DAW. Right, if you're, if you're playing live with the track yeah. to record it, right. So I'll just play around with this thing now. Now let's start working with this and let's make life into an instrument you can tweak so it's not just a loop, 16 oh, cool. bar yeah. loop playing back. So we'll start with the hi-hat, I think. Here we have the pattern. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna configure a bunch of parameters controlling the hi-hats. So where do you do that in life? You go to the MIDI control window. And here there is a bunch of learn buttons. Mm -hmm. Let's play, press the learn button, learn, and then just here. Oh, oh cool, okay. Yeah, and then the next one, boom. And then the next one, yeah, you get that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and I mean, this could be done on any MIDI controller, right? Yes, right now we're using this one, but any yeah. MIDI controller, any DAW, anything. Cool. Just shoot in some MIDI CC into life and life will listen. Basically what's happening here is that I can control the density of the pattern. So it, all of a sudden it becomes this instrument and the syncopation and the symmetry of the pattern. So I can, can become really, really busy. Oh, then I go back. And then I can also control the pattern variations, as you see here. Woo! Can I play around? Sure. Nice, huh? 
So essentially now I can be like, as I would have done as a drummer in a rehearsal room, like, yeah. uh, so like we just, more. yeah, more, more or like, more. Uh, more or less. So like, let's just play with the density a bit. But this is just one person playing the hi-hat. It's so nice when you see all the little dots like coming out. Yeah. And then I print that uh, performance to audio track, and then it really becomes like this uh, live instrument. Or you, I mean, you were almost like a jazz drummer. Then. Yeah. We have a lot of stuff, but I also remembered since you also have the mobile app, you record a lot of stuff, and I think I have this super nice recording. Yeah, that's actually what people are sort of forgetting. They're recording something when they're on the go to use then. Yeah. But it also is a really good way to just like sample stuff when you hear them and then collect like a really nice library to use for later. Let's see. Where's the bike? Use the search function maybe. I can use the search function. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Bike. Here, bike. Nice. And I think I made like a nice preset also. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Or you want to go with this one today. That's really cool. It's like, yeah. I wouldn't think of that as a good source file, but well, there you go. It really adds that sort of texture that you need. Yeah. It's almost like a Hyatt, but not really. It's a Hyatt and, you know, those spoons and... Uh, and like a cricket, a yeah. really well-taught cricket. In the end, that's what the track needed. Yeah. A bike. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, a, that's the amazing thing about this plugin. Like, you don't know the results you'll get. Yeah. You throw something at it, and apparently a bike is amazing. Needs more bike. Frame that and hang it. But uh, now I'll go into arranging and tweaking and yep. make a whole track out of it. Like any good cooking TV, we'll just do like this and we're magically done. Uh, yeah, I don't, I've been into a rabbit hole. Oh my God. I hope we've inspired you to use life in more ways than just the field recorder. There's tons of ways to use it creatively. So just go out, make your own tracks and most of all, have fun with it. As a sign off and bye, we'll play the finished track. What do you imagine yourself doing to this song? Driving a car? <laughs> <laughs>